Hey, what's up, Guardians? TBL here, and it is Friday once again, and you know what that means. Sure, the Agent of the Nine has come back to town. And as usual, we will be covering his inventory from top to bottom. Starting, of course, with where you can find the Agent of the Nine shop this week. This week, Zhir is located at his original placement inside the Vanguard Hold right next to the Crucible Weapon Vendor. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you've got some good stuff for us this week. And lo and behold, he actually kind of does. Zhir doesn't have too bad of an inventory this time around. And as usual, we will be going over Zhir's items one by one, starting off with the weapons and armor that he has for sale. And starting us off this week, Zhir is offering the Ruin Wings Exotic Titan Gauntlets. Now, I love this piece of armor. It's pretty much the one thing I never take off of my little baby Titan. The Ruin Wings cause heavy ammo to drop more often and allows you to pick up more ammo with each drop. It's fantastic. I casually like to call it Purple Rain. It's just a great piece of armor. The strength stat on it is a little bit on the low side, but don't let that deter you. All right, next up we've got once again the Acleophage Symbiote for Hunters. This exotic helmet piece grants you an additional shot with Golden Gun. Not bad at all. And finally, we have the Obsidian Mind Exotic Warlock Helm. If you are a Void Walker Warlock player, you need to pick this helm up. This thing grants you additional super energy while you're killing PvE enemies, and it allows your Nova Bomb kills to reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. Basically, if used correctly against the proper number of enemies, you can chain your supers. It is an amazing, amazing piece of armor. But moving on here, Zhir is offering, once again, the Mita Multi-Tool Exotic Scout Rifle. This is a severely underrated weapon that works great in a multitude of situations and comes with a double lightweight buff. Seriously, with it, you can walk faster than most Guardians can run, and it makes traversing the Abyss a total breeze. Anyways, if you haven't been fortunate enough yet to get one, now's your chance to buy it. And don't worry about the gun model not showing up. Mita's just a little bit shy. But alright, moving on, of course Jir is also offering exotic shards which you can buy one for 7 strange coins. And finally, on the first bracket here, Jir is offering exotic gauntlet engrams, which of course you can purchase and then redeem at the Crypt Arc for a chance at any exotic gauntlet piece in the game. Alright, now moving on to the weapons and armor that Jir has for upgrade this week. Jir is offering upgrades for the Acleophage symbiote, as well as the Hunter variant of the Crest of Alpha Lupi. Next up for Titans, Zhir is offering upgrades for both the Armamentarium as well as the Exotic Gauntlets, no backup plans. Two very decent pieces of armor. Finally for Warlocks, Zhir is offering upgrades for the Skull of Diaramkara as well as the Apotheosis Veil. Two absolutely fantastic Exotic Warlock Helm pieces. But alright, moving on here, in terms of weapons, Zhir is offering upgrades for the Bad Juju Exotic Pulse Rifle, the Last Word Exotic Hand Cannon, which is a beast! The Exotic Bounty Hand Cannon Thorn, the Exotic Bounty Shotgun Invective, and next up, continuing with the Exotic Bounty Trend, Zhir is offering upgrades for the Pocket Infinity. Finally, Zhir is also offering upgrades for the Exotic Machine Gun, the Thunderlord. And that pretty much covers it in terms of exotic weapons and armor upgrades for this week. Let's check out his Strange Curios. This week, in terms of weapon telemetries that Zhir has for purchase, we have Pulse Rifle telemetries, hand cannon telemetries, and finally, fusion rifle telemetries. Purchasing and redeeming any of these will of course raise the total amount of EXP you get for the specified weapon type. Personally, I'm going to be snapping up a couple of hand cannon ones. But alright, moving on to the Sparrow upgrade drives that Jir has on sale. This week, we've got the Plasma Drive and the Emerald Coil once again. Both of which will upgrade your rare level Sparrow into a Legendary. And finally on Jir's list, we have once again Heavy Ammo Synth 5 for 1 Strange Coin. Always, always, always a fantastic deal, and you should take advantage of it anytime you can. But alright, that's pretty much it for Azure's inventory this week. You know, we saw a lot of repeats that we've had over the past couple of months here, but uh, that's not exactly a bad thing. Ruin Wings is of course a fantastic piece of armor, and the Oblivion Mind I cannot recommend enough to any of you warlocks out there. Pick it up while you can. But alright, that pretty much wraps up this Jure's Day inventory video, guys. If you like what you saw here, do feel free to check out my channel where you can find a ton more Destiny videos coming out soon. And make sure to let me know what you picked up from Jure this week in the comment section below. But alright, that's going to be it for this one, guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.